All right, so up at the monitor now, um, you got different layouts you can do. So right now I have it on the display showing the camera and my gauges. That's what majority of the guys have been doing. I'm actually gonna start it up since it's probably. So when you have, have it on this mode, if you wanted to switch it, and I'm gonna, I'll, I'll do it with the touch screen, but you can do it with the joystick as well. Anything that's got this yellow highlight on it is what, if you press OK on the joystick, it's gonna select. So if I uh, press the three bars, this gets into kind of my main, this is gonna be like your main uh, setting screen. So if you press, you got your camera, that's what I was showing camera with gauges. If you did just gauges, this is what your home layout would be. So like I said, most guys are just running the camera. If you go back into here, you got machine settings, and this is kind of some uh, quick adjust stuff. So if you go into machine, this is kind of all the parameters you can adjust. So the one thing you guys will probably mess with to kind of fine tune how you want it set up is you'll go to machine response. And I set everything in the middle uh, to start out. So this is medium sensitivity for both your loader and your drive joysticks. So you can adjust that higher or lower, depending on what you want. Attachments, that is gonna change up parameters, how the machine works, depending on the attachment. So default's just gonna be a bucket. If you go into here, you, uh, you have multiple different options. So if you got like a cat, smart attachment like a six-way dozer blade that's got automatic grade on it you'd select that and it would know that 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 attachment's on the machine left speed two trick or, or uh, left trigger mode that's going to be uh changing the left trigger from uh two speed to another hydraulic function creep control that's what i was talking about down on the joystick when when you press that i'll press it right now you'll see it turns it on and then turns it off and you'll see an icon on the top and then you can adjust the speed. Your auto idle, that's gonna be if you had the machine sitting, let's say half throttle, after 30 seconds, it'll bring it down to idle so it doesn't burn excess of fuel. Uh, when I took the door off, I told you in the screen, you have to tell it, this is where you do that. If uh, cab door is uninstalled, that's where you'd select that. So job hours, you can, you can reset the job clock on each job you go to actually built for the hours it ran. Pattern changer, you can switch it from case, H pattern to ISO. This advanced settings at the bottom, this uh, top one, interlock override, this would be if you wanted to have the door open but still wanted to use auxiliary hydraulic functions outside. That would be the same if you pressed this button here. Drive power priority want that on when you're running like doing dirt work with a bucket when you're let's say running a mower you'd shut that off and that's going to put more power to your attachment and, and it's it's not gonna um if you if you push the stick forward as you're mowing it's going to focus on the attachment's hydraulic flow and not your drive so the machine will feel like it doesn't have as much drive power but your attachment will stay going at what you set it at. So when you're doing just grading, dirt work, you'll have this on. Steering trim, that's if you're, let's say, going down the road and you notice it's always weaving one way slightly. You can go in here and you can tell it to uh, electronically favor one side more. So that is all the machine settings under machine display. Oh, hit radio. So anyway, radio, this is where you can adjust, you know, volume, station, Bluetooth, pairing, you know, if you go to Bluetooth, this is where you're gonna go to settings and pair your phone. Um, under the display tab, this is where you can adjust brightness, your clock, um, language, display units, have it not have the rear reference lines in the backup camera if you wanted to. Information, this is just gonna be, you know, more just machine total information um, for stats, fuel, hours, whatnot. And last, 
lastly, the service tab. This is where you can get into a lot of parameters on the machine. So this is a big thing for diagnostics because we can see, we can diagnose these remotely now. So if you, you know, if you call, if you call and say there's an issue, this is where a code's gonna come up. Parameters, this is gonna give all the current parameters on the machine. So as I move the joystick, you'll see the percentage changes. This is how you can really deep dive into fixing an issue. Same thing with the HVAC. It's going to tell me everything on it, how it's performing. Uh, preventive maintenance, this is where um, it's going to tell you, I believe it tells you what needs to be done under each one. So it's going to tell you at each interval, this is what needs to be changed. Same thing with the PM3. ECM summary, this is uh, going to tell us what software it's on. And then service mode, this is more for a mechanic. So it's pretty much full breakdown on the machine. One other nice thing on these I didn't, I didn't talk about was the side windows. So you got your standard open, close. But what they added now, you have these two tabs up here. If you want to take the window out and clean it, it's as simple as moving those tabs and you can pull the window right out and take it out of the track. So very easily uh, cleanable. Yeah, let me know what you guys think when you get in it.